Hey there, computer scientists. Uh, today I'm going to go through unit 6.2 of the CS Awesome online textbook. And the focus of this unit is going through an array using a for loop. So if you remember, for loops look like this. So this is going to print out the um, numbers from 0 through 9. Okay. So we declare a new integer. We set it to 0. The middle part of a for loop is the as long as clause. And then what do we do? at the end of each iteration. So we start at 0. As long as i is less than 10, do this stuff, and then add 1 to i. So it's going to keep going until i equals 10. Then it's going to go through here and it's say, wait a minute, as long as i is less than 10, so if i is 10, this isn't true anymore jump out and keep going down the program. So the way we use this in um, arrays is we just have to change it a little bit. Look, so say we uh, have the same uh, weekdays array that we had before. Uh, so we need an array of weekdays. And so what we want to print out this time uh, is, say we don't always know exactly what, um, how many elements are in our array. Instead of trying to figure that out and then put in a number here, we can just say weekdays.length. Because if you remember, weekdays is an object. It's an array object, and one of its properties is length. So as long as it's less than the length, so the length is, oh, wait a minute. I was like, why are there six? Uh, five, one, two, three, four, five weekdays. Uh, it'll start at zero, zero, one, two, three, four, which are the positions in the array. And if it gets to five, this is no longer true and it will stop. So instead of printing out i, let's print out the array weekdays at position i and see what happens. All right. So it printed out our weekdays. All right. So that goes in order from the first to the last, and it will always do that. Uh, the other one that they want you to be able to do is go from the last to the first. Now, this gets a little bit tricky because it starts at zero and the last element is the length of the array minus one. So it's not exactly a mirror image of what we typed before. Let's try. Um, so our starting number this time is the last amount. We want to start at Friday and go back to Monday. So we're going to need weekday's length, but we have to start at weekday's length minus one because that's the last element in the array. We want to keep going as long as the one we're looking at is greater or equal to zero. Right? If we just said greater to zero, it would stop at Tuesday because that's item number one. But item zero is Monday, and that's where we want to stop. We don't want to go any lower than that. We want to stop when i is no longer greater than or equal to zero. And how do we move backwards? We subtract one every time. So again, we're going to start 
at the length minus 1. We're going to keep going as long as we're greater than or equal to 0. And we're going to subtract 1 from our index every time so that we can move to the left through the array. And we'll just show that it works. There we go. So the second time we go Friday, Thursday, Wednesday, Tuesday, and Monday. And that is unit 6.2.